Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the user manual of the Sonon application. Each package contains two replaceable batteries, chargeable battery dock, and an adapter with a selected type of probe that can last up to 12 hours of standby and 3 hours of continuous scanning. So, let's see how it works. The user can easily download the application from the App Store or Google Play Store according to the type of tablet that the user is using. First, search for Heelsarian and download the app. Then, agree to the terms and conditions, then fill in the required information for registration of the device. The password on the app is different with the Wi-Fi password. Once you complete the registration process, you are ready to scan anytime. Press and hold the power button for about 2 seconds to turn on the device and it will automatically activate Wi-Fi. The LED indicator on the top of the product is now blinking and is now ready for use. First, go to the Wi-Fi settings on your mobile device and select the SSID. The SSID is named by the model name and serial number. The default password is 12345678900 and can be changed later in the settings menu. Sonon generates its own Wi-Fi and connects directly to the mobile device. You can also select Wi-Fi network to connect with PAX in the hospital for PAX connection. Once the Wi-Fi registration is over, you can go into the Heelsarian app to activate the Wi-Fi auto conversion feature and select the Wi-Fi network that will connect to Sonon Wi-Fi and PAX. This will allow you to easily upload stored images to PAX without having to change your Wi-Fi connection. Finally, to connect the work list with PAX, enter into the DICOM screen, fill in the PAX setup, MWS setup, application setup items. and perform a ping test to confirm the connection. Once you see the success message, you can now scan. Tap the work list on the start screen. Update the patient list and find the patient you want to scan. When ready, tap to go directly to the scanning screen. When PAX is unavailable, go to Patient List. Tap the plus button to enter patient information. Patient name and ID is mandatory. Then tap the Scan button to start scanning for that patient. The scan screen displays the connection status of the Wi-Fi connection and remaining battery status. Identify the patient's name and ID and match the R mark to the transducer's line 1 marker. Before starting to scan, set the preset from the menu button. Thyroid, carotid, etc. are presetted for each part. Each preset can be changed according to user's preference and user preset can be created or changed. For example, I will set to carotid and scan it. 
You can adjust the depth by dragging the bar. And the focus moves when you tap on each part. You can also zoom in on the screen. If the image is too dark in the B mode, adjust gain and contrast by adjusting DR setting. You can tap the CF button to view the color flow Doppler image, and the color box is available in large size when the depth is over 5 cm. Please be aware that the color box cannot be moved while the scan screen is zoomed in. You can tap the camera and video recording button on the bottom left to take pictures and record videos. You can adjust the image parameter values while scanning. There are Gain, DR, and TGC functions in the B mode. Frame Average SRI and Gray Map can be set in filter settings. Multifocus and Frequency also can be changed in the others. The Multifocus focuses multi-centimeters behind the focus button and enhances the image quality. In CF mode, You can adjust the invert, angle steer, color box size, and PRF scale in flow speed. C gain and rejection can be adjusted too. You can stop the scan screen by using the freeze button in the app or the button on the front of the device. You can find the desired image and measure the length with the rewind bar, which stores the latest 150 frame images. Measurement functions as length, ellipse and text can be easily used. For Convex Pro, Fatal Biometry is added to calculate BPD EFW. Use the camera button to save the image. Saved images can be viewed in the quick viewer or patient screen in the patient list. The saved image can be uploaded to the packs from the patient screen. Select the image you want to upload and tap the upload button to complete the transfer to packs and check it on your PC as well. If you do not have packs, you can transfer using the share feature. Select the image you want, tap the share button to see a variety of apps that share images within your mobile device. When using the email, please remember that the size of the attached image can be limited by the type of the email. For example, Gmail only allows up to 20 megabytes of each image to be attached onto each email. The cloud-shaped Upload button connects to the packs. Let's take a look at the essential features that users must know on the settings screen. The device screen shows the firmware versions of the app and Sonon device. Sonon can update the firmware by the app, so keep your app up to date. In the Preference screen, you can change the video storage size. In the Preset screen, you can return the preset you created or modified back to its original value and even delete it. Backup is the function that saves the files stored in the Sonon app to the mobile device storage. And Import is a function that loads the files stored on the tablet into the Sonon app to be viewed in the app. It can be backed up or imported by patient that are saved with HCA extension.